Grumble, grumble. Hey everyone, it's the Grumpy Meeple, and I am coming back at you with another gameplay video. Here, we are taking another look at Hero Quest, the 2021, 2020 re release. And as you can see, we are playing on a fully 3D dungeon board. This was built out of Warlock terrain from WizKids. I bought an insane amount of this stuff and I struggled for a while with how to build this board because the dimensions are, just aren't quite perfect for the Warlock system because of stuff like the width of the walls, it tends to expand corridors and such and so finally and I was trying to fit it perfectly and finally I just gave up and said you know what it doesn't need to be perfect perfect is the enemy of good so while the rooms are all sized appropriately you'll see that some of the the hallways are expanded and that's that's also because I actually built it at a perfect scale and it was very difficult to move through you know an area that was this one block wide. So I just went ahead and widened the whole exterior set basically and uh, it's working great. So I've got the rooms all kind of pre-configured. You can see here I can just pop it out um, and then you know because Hero Quest is, is the doors can show up anywhere basically I just pop them out off the map change them up pop them back in. I was playing this earlier with my son and one of his friends, and so I didn't get to film the first part because I didn't want to, I didn't have the consent of his friend's parents to put him on video, so <laughs> I, uh, I wasn't comfortable with filming him. Um, but I figured I'd just pick it up kind of in media res, as they say, and we could just go from here. This is quest, this is quest, is it five or six? I think it's quest five, it's Melar's Maze. Yeah, quest five. And we've kind of already had a lot going on here. We've had some rooms end up being dead ends. We came all the way down here for nothing. Came back around here and we had a cave-in right at this spot which blocked not only my movement, but the movement of the mummy that <laughs> was coming after us. That's kind of funny. And so we came in here, encountered a pit trap, and had a group of orcs that we, that we had to take care of. And now we're just continuing along on our journey. And in this quest, we're trying to find the Talisman of Lore. And we gotta beware of many traps and monsters. Ooh. <laughs> and you'll notice, uh, because I was playing with these kids, I didn't have the time to perfectly place every single door and everything. So I used some of these kind of double wide doors where I should have used a single. But again, it's Hero Quest, and my sense of it is that as long as you let the enemies still get to where they're going, it really kind of doesn't matter if it's slightly off. So that's where we're at. We've got our 3D dungeon ready to go. So let's continue our quest. We're on the hero turn because the mummy is, is basically blocked. So can't can't do anything. And we are on the Barbarian's turn. Some of you may have been watching one of my previous playthroughs where I was playing Prince Magnus's Gold. I was really struggling with the 3D terrain system in that playthrough. And so I ended up finishing that off screen and um, decided to just continue, continue the saga basically with Quest. Five. So we're picking up in the middle of the quest here. 
we're using another WizKids product. We are using their, um, these are the D&D &D Premium Icons of the Realm miniatures. I've proxied all of the heroes with Icons of the Realm miniatures, pre-painted miniatures. I really like them. I really like the way that they that they look. Um, they're well painted, I think, well enough, anyways. And some of them have some really cool effects, like the druid here. You can see he's got this like stone outcropping. Now I don't know if this is a druid in D and D. I'm using it as a proxy for a druid in this game. Um, and so I'm loving the the pre-painted minis for the heroes, at least the monsters. It's a little tougher. It's not helped by the fact that WizKids is a little inconsistent in how they base these these characters. You know, the heroes, some of the heroes at least, they come on these kind of bespoke, you know, bases, scenic bases. Some of them don't. They just come on a clear plastic base or on just a clear black base. And I don't really like to mix. I kind of want them all to be of a piece. So for now at least, I'm just sticking with the heroes and and uh, that's where we're at. Okay, so it's the hero's turn. Barbarian, wow, Barbarian rolls a 12. <laughs> Big roller. Where is our little Barbarian? Here he is. <laughs> There's not a great Barbarian Icons of the Realm figure. Um, Another really annoying thing is that there's a Pathfinder series of these as well, but they seem to be slightly smaller, and so I didn't want to mix those either. There's a really cool or half orc barbarian miniature from Pathfinder, but I didn't want to mix them in. So I'm using this Dragonborn dude with the giant maul as my barbarian, and I'm pretty happy with that. He just rolled a 12, so he's basically going to come all the way down to the door. We are in the Orcs Grog Hall here. You can see they've got a barrel of grog sitting on the table. They've spilled a bunch of it. And we've got a, <laughs> a keg of grog on the side. We're going to open that door. All right. What do we got? Two more doors. Okay. All right, so let's get to our terrain. I'm gonna be moving around in this video because I need to place out the terrain elements and such. And it's really hard to get all this stuff into one spot, so. I think for this passageway, we'll just go with some broken, crashed columns. We'll say that these are blocking the path. These I painted myself. Most of this stuff is pre-painted from, again, the WizKids line, from the 4D line as well as the Warlock line. Um, other than that, we've got two doors that we need. Put the doors off to the side here exactly where we need them. Okay, so there's one basically right here. So again, we just pop this out. Also, this is actually two rooms. I haven't split that out yet. Um, oh, perfect. These things have to go together very specifically for it to fit. And I did the best that I possibly could. Let's get some ring dividers in here.
course you could use these room dividers as the internal walls like these. That's what they're meant for. I just didn't do that basically. I like the look of the, the bigger walls and these are a little more finicky. That looks good. And then we've got a door, which is basically right here. So again, there's some setup you get to go through if you're doing this like I am. There might be a better way of doing it. I just haven't found it yet. It's all real time. So you're getting a real look at what it's like to actually use this stuff to play Hero Quest. Again, not perfect, not a perfect fit, so I just put this janky <laughs> extra block to cover the spot. There we go. Good enough. This door's open. And we're going to continue our movement. Which way do we want to go? Hmm. Let's start with the small room. Why not? So we can move over to here. zombie guys guys and gals whoever <laughs> nothing else no door just a damn zombie son of a gun for his movement. Okay. Barbarian rolls three attack dice. Looks like Zombie has three defense dice. Brutal. Use this interior chamber for the moment. Ooh! Three damage. Lowry, lowry. So we got one body part point but he does have three defense dice he's dead <laughs> beautiful the zombie has been defeated. okay next up we've got the dwarf dwarf's rolling big big 10 let's see you can get to that other door. He's gonna do that. Oh. Oh, piss. <laughs> I just think this board looks freaking incredible. And there's so much more I can do with it. This is only the beginning of my Warlock Tiles journey. I could get the two inch or the inch walls and, and build it up a little bit or change them out, make it look like crenellation, you know, like on a battlement. There's, I've got still tons of unopened dress set, dungeon dressing sets. Bought it all myself, nothing sent to me by anybody. Um, just went crazy one day and was just like, you know, I can't take it anymore, I need my 3D dungeon. <laughs> 
Okay, looks like we've got another door opening up right here. Perfect, perfect. It's really not bad. Once you have the basic rooms built, it's not bad to ship this stuff out. This is all real time. I'm not cutting away. Not intentionally, at least. I cut away usually when I'm coughing or if I sound like a... If I just am making no sense. The gargoyle statue. Displayed at the center of the room is a stone statue of a gargoyle. Use the gargoyle miniature to re represent the stone statue on the game board. It's not just a representation. I guess we'll see. Okay. That's it for his movement. Next up, we've got the druid. I have the elf in my campaign, but I'm just switching characters out as I wish. Tracking all their, you know, their loot and stuff separately. All right, we roll the nine. And the druid is back a bit, so it's gonna move. It's over here. So again, I'm basically treating this as one corridor in terms of movement. I just like having the extra room to actually place miniatures and such. And now, you know what, before, he'll actually stop there because he's gonna search for treasure. And searches the area for treasure. Potion of healing. You find a half-filled potion of healing on the alchemist bench. It restores up to two lost body points when consumed. Okay. Jarak the Druid finds a Partial potion of healing. That'll work. Oh, and it was on the, it was on the, it's, oh no, it's the orc piss. <laughs> I know I have like an alchemist table painted, but I couldn't find it, so I just used kind of a piece of a bar. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. And now it's the wizard's turn. Wow. Some great movement rolls. Wizard is gonna move. I'm using a really cool miniature from that Dungeons and Dragons line for my wizard. He's gonna move right there. Okay. Now it's Sargon's turn. Sargon's turn. Hero's turn. Just goes back to the hero turn. Barbarian only gets to move three. That's a major bummer. So he basically gets to move to there. And he'll search for traps. Secret doors. Barbarian searches for secret doors. No secret no doors. Secret doors. Dwarf gets 10 movement. Very worried about traps in this next room. I think he's just gonna move in. 
and then search for traps. Druid gets three. Searching for traps, so kind of. Oh, I missed this. This actually. This pathway is open. Okay, very interesting. Maybe he'll search for secret doors. M searches for secret doors. No secret doors found. And the wizard. to explore it. And we see nothing. It's not blocked. But there's nothing down there that I can see. Okay. And he will also search for traps. Wizard searches the area for traps. No traps. No traps discovered. Sargon's turn. Barbarian's back up. Like, the, is this not like the coolest fucking thing you've ever seen? It just, it makes me sad because I'm so blind. I feel like I can't truly appreciate it. <laughs> but, holy shit, this stuff is awesome. You gotta put a fair amount of time into gaming out exactly how it all fits together. And, uh, it's expensive. It's insanely expensive. Don't get me wrong. But, man, it is cool. And it's fun to collect. Three again. What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me, Barb? It just basically gets to there. The dwarf's going to search for treasure. I don't even move. Lots of hero quest news recently. Rogue Heir of Elethorn, the rogue expansion for Hero Quest, character who carries daggers, has a bandolier, probably some, you know, agility based kind of abilities, dodge or something. Um, very cool looking hero expansion in line with the commander of the knights of whatever <laughs> expansion that came out previously which was insanely hard to find so if you're interested in this stuff you better pre-order that rogue now even if it seems like it might be easy to get and then the mage in the mirror another big box expansion was announced i have both of the expansions that came out with the original release of this. And I do have the Frozen Horror. I haven't opened it yet. I'm gonna open it on the channel here very, very soon. Possibly even today. And so, really looking forward to just getting more and more of this stuff. Especially my son likes it, his friends like it. I could see this getting played quite a bit. And over the years, eventually, I'll get through it all. Because it is just so delightfully light and easy to play. Gold. Amidst old rags, tattered fur robes, and soiled blankets, you find a collection of 15 gold coins. Record the money on your character sheet. Do not return this card to the deck. Where is Barak Steelgut? <laughs> That's the name of my dwarf. 15 gold. Turn this to the deck. I will simply put some 
after that. Okay. Druid's up next. Druid rolls five. I can't help but feel like if I come into this room, something bad's gonna happen. I don't care, I'm up for it. <clears throat> Do you like how I left the zombie corpse rotting? <laughs> Druid will search for secret doors. Elf searches no secret for doors. secret doors. No secret doors found. I feel like what's gonna happen is I'm gonna bust this door open. There's gonna be like three enemies in here. I'm gonna come in here and then this gargoyle is gonna activate and trap me. Which could be fun. So let's find out. Got a six. The wizard is just gonna move. not want to kick this door open with the wizard. Sargon's turn. Hero's turn. I want to kick it open with the barbarian. And it looks like I will be able to do that. I really, like, you know, one thing that actually really makes it a lot easier to mess with the dimensions of the board for Hero Quest, and this is really a problem that is largely unique to Hero Quest in my collection at least. Warhammer Quest, the rooms are pre-built, they're standard sized, and the gates are always basically at the ends. Much easier to to set up because they, and they're also not they're not interconnected by these, you know, external hallways and such. Other games of this type, Arcadia Quest, game, Zombicide, games that use area movement instead of grid movement, super easy to, to use this system for. And I will eventually get around to doing videos sh showcasing that because I think it'll be really cool. But Hero Quest in particular, because it's grid based, because of the hallways and such, and everything is very kind of mathematically precise, it's actually a little difficult. The app makes it a lot easier because you really just follow the app's movement guidance. You don't have to count it out on the board. So, he's coming over here and kicking this door open. Gargoyle. Don't you mess with me, Gargoyle. I will mess you up. As you open the door, the gargoyle statue springs to life and attacks. Wow, oh, now. Ooh, a treasure chest. Well, well, well. Shock of shocks. That gargoyle wasn't actually just a stone statue. Not at all shocking. Let's use... You can see here, I just have, I have like piles of scattered terrain. This is one of like five containers worth. And that's just of the stuff that I've already opened. I have more unopened than opened. Or roughly the same. Really hoping that WizKids keeps up with the production of this stuff. It seems to have tapered off a little bit. I haven't really seen anything new in, in the last few months. Nothing that I'm actually interested in, at least. There's the Spelunkers docks. I might pick that up, which is kind of a dock, you know, with boats and such. And there's the cavern set, which I really didn't like the look of because it doesn't interconnect like this and also kind of useless for a game like Hero Quest. I'm sure I'll own it all eventually. Oh, good God almighty. What are those? Skellies. Okay. Skellies abound. We got one there. Ding, 
the treasure. Which for all I hold, may, for all I know, may well hold the very amulet that I am searching for. Amazing! <laughs> Let's put some other cool shit in this room to make it pop a little bit, make it sparkle. What we got? that this was an old barracks so we put that there maybe there's a mysterious ladder leading off somewhere Actually, I know that this will work. This ladder's way too big. <laughs> You're killing me, ladder! Giant goddamn ladder! Some bomber, some bomber. Yeah, we'll throw a couple of suits of armor in there, too. Just spicing it up a little bit, make it a little more fun. I'm hoping this stuff shows up on camera. I don't know. I'll assume it does. So, what to do now? The gargoyle is obviously the biggest threat. Barbarian's one of my heavy hitters. He's gonna finish his movement. Damn, that does take him outside of the door though. I would love to have him lock that door. Scouts don't get that hard. We'll be fine. He's gonna move there and he's gonna take a swing at it. The gargoyle. The deadliest and most powerful of all creatures. He's got a broadsword. Potion of healing. Nothing really to strengthen itself up. It's my first swing. Let's just see what happens. One goddamn hit. <laughs> that ain't gonna cut it. Not with the gargoyle. Oh, well, you know, it got through. That's, this flipped. This was not originally, that, that's the shield icon for the enemies, but that was not originally there. Okay. Dwarf's turn. Dwarf has the battle axe. My hardest hitter. Let's get him in there. How dare you! Yeah. He's rolling four big boys on this. Can't mess around with a gargoyle. They are very, very powerful. Okay, two hit, three hits. Very good. Oh my god, he blocks two of them. Unbelievable. Druid's up next. Druid is currently shape-shifted into bear form. I don't have a mini miniature for that yet. So, representing it with his normal form. But that does mean that he gets an extra attack die when attacking. So he's rolling three. Also attacking the gargoyle. We're going to finish this gargoyle off real quick. Two. Not bad. Got him. Let's die to the gargoyle. Okay. <laughs> that was weirdly <laughs> in the wrong order. <laughs> All right, the gargoyle is down. <coughs> Druid. Do we have anything else to do a bunch to do? 
could move. Why would he want to do that though? I guess to soak up damage. He does get an extra defend die, so he gets three defense. Maybe, he'll, maybe he will move. He'll move into the doorway. The wizard. There's nothing else in here. There's no door. So eventually we're going to have to make our way out anyway, so the wizard will just pop back outside. Elf triggers a trap. The floor gives way. I did not trigger a trap. I'm going to remember that there's a pit trap there. I didn't mean to move that far. Because he, he didn't, the druid, not the elf, didn't go into the room. Okay, so that's it. Sargon's turn. The skill moves up. He's like, hey, I heard you were interested in our treasure. What? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> See, the spacing is a little bit of a thing. Yeah, these guys are relatively small bases. It's fine. Foolish adventurers, your fate is sealed. Barbarian can't do anything because the druid is blocking the door. His turn. The dwarf. Dwarf's just gonna move out to here. Doesn't seem like there's anything else he can see. Here it'll take a swing. Two hits on a skelly. Two defense. Blocks one. Has died the skeleton. What? It's so strange. Skeleton's down. Druid. It'll move. It's just going to continue on. hit. Barbarian has four defense dice because he's got the shield and the helmet. Fat lot of good it did him. Block. Barbarian takes the damage. Oh, look at that. He's going after the druid. Hello, friend. Blocks it, which is great because if she take if he takes any damage, then his shape shift goes away. 
Okay, Barbarian is going to destroy the zombie right in front of him, if he can, which he cannot. So scratch that idea. Dwarf is going to move back into the room. Take care of this one. He's rolling four. The fact that these unused rooms are a very effective die. <laughs> Corral is just beautiful. Okay, boy, we are really throwing garbage right now. One hit. But he doesn't block it. Cool, look who's speaking in the correct order. <laughs> Druid moves down. Bear paw. One hit. Got him. Wizard. Well, hell. He's getting a ton. Oh, Jesus. Wizard takes a body point of damage. not get to where he was trying to get to. Okay. So, he's already triggered that trap by accident. So he needs to roll. I don't think I rolled from my mic. Just roll. From oh right, jump in. You jump the trap. Barbarian triggers a trap. Holy crap! Dodge quickly and avoid the spear. Move down to the treasure. Barbarian. Oh! You trigger a poison gas trap. Track two points of body damage on your hero's character sheet. Brutal. I actually like this though, because the main problem with playing this game against the app is the difficulty is so pathetic. So maybe if I just stop searching for traps and just take the trap hits, you find 144 gold coins in this treasure chest. Okay, well, it's not what I was looking for, but that's a lot of gold. Druid's gonna search for treasure. Elf searches the area for treasure. Draw a treasure card. Track treasure on your character sheet. Another potion of healing. In a bundle of rags, you find a small bottle of bluish liquid. 
You can drink this healing potion at any time, restoring the number of body points equal to a roll of one red die. Can't exceed your starting number of body points. Do not return this card to the deck. So, but I am just gonna write it down. And why not? She'll, he'll drink the potion of healing that they found earlier, restoring two body points. You don't roll on that one. That was the one that was on the bar. Delicious. <laughs> Got my amazing card holder over here. This is like one of the first things I ever covered on the channel. Still love it. It's perfect for Hero Quest. Like, per it holds all the cards. It's amazing. Makes it a lot easier to move the game off the table, especially with this going on. Uh, and then the durable move. Okay, that's a huge movement. really like the combination of the app managed movement because all I have to do is just move to the appropriate square as relative to the rooms around me makes it very easy to manage wizard's gonna search for drops wizard searches the area for traps no traps discovered All right. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Wizard moves here, and a lot's going on. A lot to set up. Let's do this. First of all, we've got a block. It's actually there. And we've got some doors. There's one on block one and one on block three. I'm just switching these out. Really not as bad as I thought it would be. And I struggled a bit with getting this set up. I would not have been comfortable doing this on camera with. It just wouldn't, it just didn't flow well and wasn't good television, as they say. <laughs> good television. Am I pretentious or what? I don't know, I try to put on a good show. Somebody said the other day that I'm rambly, which I love feedback, it's great. And it's also 100% true. So no hard feelings on that, but kind of, kind of tr trying to be rambly. To some extent, try to talk, keep things interesting. Well aware that not everybody, I'm not going to be everybody's cup of tea. Don't really care. Something like that is close enough. I didn't 
know that this room could be, it looks like it's split up. I was not aware that that was a thing. Oh, and then perfect, right here. We've got just a one block. know that this doesn't lead anywhere because the only place it could lead to is there. Then again, my things could be in there. Doubt it. Two? Seriously? This freaking guy's not even moving out of the room he's currently in. No moving too far. You didn't make it that far. Name. Search for secret doors. Barbarian searches for secret doors. Secret doors found. What's the dwarf got for me? The big 12. That's what I'm talking about. He might even be able to make it all the way down to. In. Stay away from the wizard, scum. Oh, and he throws four shields. Incredible. I hate you. <laughs> Druid's just going to move down behind. Dwarf. Really like this. Druid miniature is pretty cool. I went crazy on buying Druid miniatures for some reason. I bought like three. Just because there were a lot of really cool Druid miniatures in the line. And the wizard's gonna pass his turn. Sargon's turn. <laughs> nope. Takes the damage. Hero's turn. Only got three left. <laughs> the barbarian is so far behind me. Oh my god! Come on, Barbarian. Help me out here. He's gonna jump this damn thing again. Which he does not do. Oh, and I even have a... I'm just gonna reuse this one since I'm not gonna be coming back here. I have a pit trap. <laughs> Take a swing. Battle axe. Two hits. Three defense. One gets through. Enough to get the zombie. Yeah, 
color now. Oh, the torture rack. I've got, I've got the WizKids torture chamber. Should I do a live unboxing? I don't see anybody else doing this kind of content in terms of playing board games with this stuff. So, yo, Wiz Kids, let's talk. Here we have the Wiz Kids torture chamber system. I'm going to bust this open because I want the pre painted torture rack. I'm not going to do a full unboxing right here. They've changed up the packaging on like their equipment. And there it is. Very cool. Different game. In hell, since it's a torture chamber. Let's take it to the next level. We've got all sorts of good stuff in here. How the hell? Oh, <laughs> look at the, the torture chair. Nothing else in there, huh? Why the hell would I go in there? Get into this scary ass prison room. Oh, that's so cool. This stuff is cool. I will grant them that. I mean, I love this stuff, so of course it will cramp and whatever. I can. It's a great terrain system. That's the coolest looking room I've ever built. Nothing going on in there, apparently. I have no intention of going in there, at least not this second. Yeah, what the hell. Drew will poke his head in on this. I wish I could get some better angles. I'll take some pictures and throw them up there so that you can see the terrain as we go through the rooms. Because it really is cool from from this angle. Oh my god, it's so cool. It's like a dream of mine. Um, I'm just gonna search your troops. And be warned, heroes. Floor seems weak right in front of this door. I see. That's why there's a door there. Okay, so that they can trick you into falling into that space. Where's there gold enough to get in there as well and search for treasure? You never know where you're going to find. Be oh. warned, heroes. That's not what he wants to do. Wizard searches the area for treasure. A treasure card. Oh my treasure gosh, a hazard. While you are searching, a hidden arrow shoots from the wall and strikes you. You lose one body point and your turn is over. Return this to the bottom of the deck. Okay, the wizard is on the brink of death, so he's going to have to do something about that. Let's see. <coughs> yeah, he's got a potion of healing. He's going to drink that. Of course I have to roll. Unbelievable. So he still has one damage. Still better.
Okay, and I think maybe I'll call it there for now in terms of our gameplay. Seems like we still have quite a ways to go. Barbarians can spend the next 10 turns trying to catch up. So I feel like there's gonna be some boring turns that I probably won't film where he's just gonna be rolling to move by himself. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this. I hope you like the, the terrain setup that I've got here. I love it, it's gorgeous and surprisingly easy to use when compared with the app or combined with the app for hero quest which i've been a huge fan of this app since day one and continue to continue to be so that's all i have for now hope you enjoyed this and i will talk to you later